this is Heather from sisterwigs.com and today I'm bringing you a review of a Ellen Villa high fashion wig called Stream and the color on Stream today is Mango Lighted. This is a crazy wig. <laughs> I'm not even going to mince words about it. It's got more of a crimp to it than a curl. As you can see, there it's made to look kind of like you stuck your finger in a light socket. It's supposed to look like this. So if you're the kind of person who thinks that this is ah, right out of the box, you're not gonna like it. So you might not might as well just skip this review entirely. But if you're kind of the person that likes sort of avant-garde, you you like being out of the box, you want something that's different from the norm, short, easy to wear, and you like the fact that it's a little crazy looking then stream is kind of cool. Um, it's got lots of body, lots of texture. The cap's pretty comfortable. Um, now it is a little bit on the small side for me personally, because um, it, it is kind of wanting to ride up a bit, but because the whole thing is open capped, it will stretch over time with wear, which is awesome. So just be patient with it. If you really like it, it will stretch out as long as you don't have like a really super duper large head. Again, my circumference is 23 and a half inches. So, you know, if you're in that ballpark or, or smaller, you're in great shape. This wig only weighs 2.4 ounces, which is very nice for a high fashion wig. And I think that's because it doesn't really need a whole lot of permatees. The volume from the texture is ample all on its own. The front down is five inches. You'd never know though, because the crimp pattern makes it shorter. So I'd say it's about four maybe. Um, the crown down is six, but again, it's crimped. So it'd be very hard to tell exactly how, how uh, long it is, but just know this is a relatively short wig. The sides are only three inches and the nape is only two. And the nape's kind of a dead giveaway most of the time as to the overall length of the style. So let's talk about the color for a moment. Um, Mango Lighted, I'm gonna zoom in here for you, is very intense. It is definitely a high fashion color. It's got this very intense kind of medium copper color. And then on top of that, you've got these very intense kind of bold light auburn blondish highlights. Um, it's just definitely not made to look like a natural color, which again, if you want something that's outside of the box, that might be right in your uh, wheelhouse. Let me show you what it looks like in the sunshine. Very intense, very vibrant. I'm gonna zoom out again. It's just got a lot going on with it. Doesn't move hardly at all, but that's part of the, the texture doing that. So overall, I think this wig's a lot of fun. Um, it's just crazy looking. <laughs> like, um, I'm, I might even be a bit uh, too uh, much of a fuddy-duddy to really pull this off. I don't know, I'll let, I'll let you guys decide. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off now so I can show you the cap construction. So again, this whole wig is open. It's got an open top with the permatees up in here. And then in the back, it's open. The perimeter is quite stretchy, has these nice velvet ear tabs, which is very nice on a high fashion wig. Um, the entire peruki line is high fashion, just so you know. Um, and then the nape is slightly extended and also felt, and it does adjust back here with the Velcro enclosures. You get a generous patch of that soft felt right here at the hairline. Again, a very nice feature in a high fashion wig. Lots of permatees, but, um, you know, it's just there to kind of obscure the wefting. And it does come with this texture and with this kind of frizzy look right out of the box. It's made to look like that. So again, if that's not your cup of tea, please don't order one of these expecting it to be nice and smooth and sleek. It never looked like that. It always looked just like this right out of the box. And you can see with this mango lighted color that it is a little darker here at the nape. You get more of the base color down here. The highlights are concentrated mostly at the top and towards the front. Um, and then you can also see that the nape itself is straight and it's only a little bit crimped down here. Most of the big crimping is done up here 
at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one back on. It's an easy one to put on. My favorite thing about it is because of the texture, you don't really have to worry about um, how it settles. It doesn't really move much, but that's okay. So this, again, has been the very eclectic sort of stream wig by Ellen Villa. Again, this is a high fashion wig, and the color is called Mango Lighted, which is a combination of a 28, a 31, and a 29, according to the color code. A 28 is a vibrant Irish red. A 31 is a medium um, orangey auburn color. And a 29 is a another <laughs> very vibrant auburn. So it's just a combination of three very, very vibrant reds. So thanks again for watching. I'm Heather from sisterwigs.com and check out my web store when you get a chance, triple dubs dot sisterwigs, C-Y-S-T-E-R-W-I-G-S dot com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.